and now we have got Kelly in Charlotte, North Carolina. Hey, Kelly, how's it going? I'm good. How are y'all? Good. How can John and I help today? Um, I lost my husband about six months ago after a four-year long, hard battle with cancer. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. And, I'm sorry. Um, well, the well, the life insurance loan was enough to get out of debt and pay the house off and stuff. I'm just having trouble getting excited about it, just given everything going on. Mm. Yeah. Um, and, you know, now the income as well, he was the breadwinner for the most part, so now our income has been slashed two-thirds, so even the you know, live and give like no one else is not what it, what we envisioned it to be. Of course. And um, I was the Dave Ramsey one for quite a while in our marriage up until about the last two years of his life. And then he kind of got on board and we got to pay off his truck. He got really excited about it. And then um, he, you know, the cancer came back full force. So I'm just wondering how to go about re reshuffling my mind to kind of grab hold of this and to uh, get excited when it's been such a, a long, hard um, goal of mine for a long time. Yeah. First and foremost, I'm, I'm so sorry. Sounds like this guy was, he's incredible, huh? He was. Truly. <laughs> he paid off his truck in the middle of fighting for his life. And he cheered it on, right? Yep. What a yep, stud. He sure did. And y'all got little ones too? Uh, we have a 19 and 22-year-old, so not so little. I'm the rent of the family now. <laughs> They're still little. <laughs> They're still little. Um, so I, I'm just going to talk blunt with you. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, you're not going to get excited about this. Okay. okay. There's no, there's no, your debt free scream will be very, very different. The cheer will be very, very different because you're going to be doing it alone. And this was right. something y'all set out to do together. This was a co adventure for y'all's family tree. And, um, man, he got you all the way down the finish line, handed that baton off, and you crossed the finish line by yourself. Right. And so, yeah. Um, it's not going to be that cheer. It's not going to be that excitement. Now, you can come down to Nashville and do your debt-free scream. We will cheer and scream with you, and it'll be a moment of joy and jubilation, but it's going to look different, and it's going to feel different, okay? So I don't want you to spend another second of energy trying to muster up some kind of fake confetti in your heart that's not there. This was supposed to be the two of you, and it's just you, and that's heartbreaking, and it's sad, and that's what grief is, right? Um, okay. there is the reality that you've got this money and you've got these bills, right? Is this house a house that you want to stay in? Um, for the time being, I have a son in college, so I want to stay there at least until he graduates in three years. Okay. Is there a big rush to pay it all off or is that something you just want to do for your own security? Um, the rush is just in the fact that I'm now, um, my income has taken such a hit. Mm -hmm. So, the monthly mortgage payment is not in the budget, you know, the 25% and all that. Sure. So, um, at some point you might, you know, you're six months in is for all mm -hmm. intents and purposes. This is still just as brand new and as real as it was four months ago right. and five months ago. Right. So there's a level of healing and healing does, doesn't mean you're not going to hurt and healing doesn't mean that you're not going to miss this guy every single day, especially a guy as awesome as this. Healing means you're going to be able to talk about it and your eyes won't well up on you. Right. Healing means you're going to smile when you think about the good stuff. Right. Um, and that's right. still months and months and months ahead. Um, if paying off the house and getting out of debt and clearing that up with that money and you're able to take care of college stuff, if you're able to do those things, it's going to buy you a year or two of financial peace so that you can uh, then begin to think, what do I want to do with my career? What do I want to do for the back half of my life? How old are you? I'm 54. 54, yeah. You're you're just halfway done yourself, right? So you got all kind of yeah. adventures ahead of you. It will give you some space and some time to think through it. If you're going to sell this house in six months, then I would tell you don't pay it off. Hang on to it, right? Mm -hmm. Get out of your consumer debt and hang on to the mortgage um, and take a withdrawal and pay it off that way. But if you're going to stay there for three years, four years, five years, then yeah, pay it off and get some people that you love and you care around you and you all celebrate this with a 
prayer. Y'all celebrate this with a some hugs and some tears, um, but it will look very, very different. And then when you're ready, we're going to have a spot for you here in Nashville so you can come to your debt-free scream on our stage. Yeah, and Kelly, okay. the, the only thing that I would I would add, because I just I love how John highlighted that it's not going to be exciting. I would just I would just encourage you and just affirm, take the pressure off that it should be. Yeah. Um, okay. it, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be exciting. This money represents something you never wanted to happen, and um, and you can still move forward and use it how you and he wanted to use it. But take the pressure off that you should feel a certain way, act a certain way experience this a certain way um i just i I love how john highlighted that 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 is um that is perfectly okay for you to give yourself what you need in this season to grieve and to move forward one step at a time and we'll be thinking about you kelly thank you for calling in john i have you seen um people experience when they're going through a season i know you've worked with a lot of people in different types of trauma and heartbreak where they feel a pressure to experience it a certain way or to act a certain way or respond a certain way and kind of wrestling through that. Yeah, er everybody thinks that they know how they would react when there's a car wreck or there's a thing or if what would happen. It, and the reality is you don't know. Mm. And that's why it's so important to have people around you mm. because you think you've got, I, I'm going to do it. Like You don't have any idea. Mm. You know what I mean? So um, that's why it's important to have people that bring you food. And mm. that's why it's important that we'll have people that will spend the night with you, sleep on your couch and yeah. make sure you're pets are eating and your kids are eating stuff. So, yeah. um, but over six months, seven months, 10 months, so everybody does this differently. Mm -hmm. Um, cancer is different than car wrecks and car wrecks are different than, you know, sudden, you know, milden everything's different. Um, you begin to think what's my new picture going to look like, yeah. right? What's mm -hmm. tomorrow going to look like? I get to craft this and create it and I didn't plan on it, but this is the way this is. And yeah. friends and community members and a good church member or a, a counselor can walk you through what's it like to dream again because I've only dreamed with this right. other person, right? What's this new thing going to look like? And do I want to move and be my grandkids or do I want to start a new job? All those things look different and they feel different. What we don't often think, Christy, is that those are things we practice, right? And they are the things you practice and stumble around into. And that's what, again, that's what people are so important for. Yeah. And I love how, um, you know, I've hosted with um, Dave Ramsey before and he always talks about not making any major financial decision if you can help it six you know, months to a year yeah, yeah six months to a year after yeah. the event because you can't think clearly right. yeah. you know even if it costs you a little bit more in interest or something just give yourself the space to grieve to be present to give yourself what you need and um and to to be able to think clearly again once the fog clears a little bit doesn't mean it's going to be easy and it doesn't mean you're ever going to necessarily be excited about it either let me say this Blessings to this family for having a will and having yes. life insurance. I've sat with people, Christy, who look at me and say, we got nothing. I don't know what to do now. Like yeah. They're going to have to grieve at work on Monday because they don't have any money. Mm. Good for him. If you don't have a will, get a will. Get a will and take care of your family after you're gone. It is the selfless thing you can do. It's not fun to talk about, but do you'll be it. so glad. Everyone will be so glad you did. Thanks for the call, Kelly.